Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Reacting to the Scary Story Animations. I got three good ones for you in today's episode. But guess cool with that? You down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because there we go! First video of today's episode is called Lasagna, a Garfield cartoon. This comes from the meatiest of canyons. Check them out in the description box below. But no more talking. Let's do this. Hey, Liz. Hey, John. You ready for the movie? Yeah, I've been looking forward to the movies all week. One second. I just need a couple of minutes to get some stuff sorted out inside with the animals before I leave. I don't know why I'm smiling so hard already. What the? <laughs> Bro got the outside face versus the inside face down. This is how it's gonna be. This is how it's gonna be. All right, we already got the wide-eyed, wet-eyed, teary-eyed freak. Okay, let's go. Garfield, would you come in here for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Meow. Oh, man. Meow. Meow. Can you tell me why you decided to get into the lasagna again? Tell me why you thought that would be okay! Me. Me meow. Meow. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. Why are you speaking to me? Look at the meatiest pink nipples I ever seen in my sad, pathetic life. Looking like some cow udder. Just wanna on those shits. You know what I mean? No. Cats can't speak, can they? Bro, can they? Meatball nipples. Meow. Meow. Good. Now make bread. <laughs> make bread like a good cat. Go on. Be my little baking boy. Yeah! Yeah, there he is! Something smells good oh! in here! Bake! God, that good. Is me cringe. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Everything going okay in there? I I heard some shouting about a bakery or something. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I just ruined a batch of bread I was working on. Oh my god, this I'll is I'll only best. be a second longer. Homemade bread? Mmm, that sounds good. Please, take your time, take your time. I don't know what's more messed up, the lost souls of Miss Frizzle's WAP or Prisoner Garfield. I really don't know. Oh, Garfield, oh, she's so nice. I can't believe it. Me, John Arbuckle, in love. John Arbuckle is <gasps> Who toxic. Who would've thought? Bro, it's toxic, toxic. Oh, oh Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know, I just... I got a good oh, feeling sheesh. about her. Like, she wouldn't judge me, or... That thing's not even pinned to his diaper, she would... it's pinned to his back. Just accept oh, me for who God. I am. She wouldn't be such a pain to train like you, Garfield. And he doesn't even have any fat on his back because you can see the bones in his spine sticking out. That thing is attached to a bone in the spine. Oh, always putting the up a fight. attention to detail on this. <sighs> I'm glad those times are over. I'm just looking for a lady, Garfield. Someone who will stand by my side, but... But they're all so stupid! They pack away at my mind! They always make things so difficult! I wonder if she wants a small wedding. She better not want some big fucking wedding! That bitch! That fucking whore! All they think about is money. All they want is money, money, money! I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure she wants a small wedding. I, I, I'm, I'm positive. Not only a wedding, but I wonder if she wants a big family. Oh, I hope she wants a big what? family. What do God, I would love a big family. <laughs> Poor dog food Somebody on these helpless love. prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at me! Dude's the modern day Jeffrey Dahmer, bro. How much more can I give you? God damn it. <laughs> I don't know, Garfield. I think she's I think she's the one. I really do. I really do. Ah <laughs> God, the future is looking bright. Behave yourself. Wait a minute, what is he gonna do with that hammer? Hey, sorry about that. Let's go. I better not fill up on popcorn. That lasagna you were talking. <laughs> this bitch just fucking transformed, dog. No, bro. Dude is one of those freaking. Uh... Hey, sorry about that. Let's go. Oh my go. god, he's I those Terminators. Not popcorn. That bro, he's the second Terminator, Terminator from Terminator Two. I forgot what his name is. That guy was badass. I think the biggest question that I have about that whole thing is what is John gonna do to that girl, and why did he put the hammer in his face? Why is he able to morph his faces? Where is Garfield? Did he actually have any animals? Who actually ate that lasagna? Because those prisoners look like they haven't eaten in years. One of them was eating freaking dog food. So I think John's the one who actually ate all that lasagna. Next video of today's episode is called Inhuman. 
entity. It comes from the legendary Llama Arts, a channel name that I haven't said in a long time, so it's good to see them again. This video is called Sleep Paralysis Horror Story, and anytime there's sleep paralysis mentioned in a video game or a horror story I'm reacting to, I always mention that when I was younger, I had sleep paralysis experience myself. And I'm gonna mention it again, all right? When I was a kid, I had sleep paralysis experience myself, and it was very scary and spooky, all right? Cool breeze crept through the valley outside of Telluride, Colorado. As my ask. friends and I unloaded the truck parked on the dirt driveway. Just kidding, I did ask. We had recently I wanted to know. started renting an old mining house built in the early 1900s. Oh, and you wonder why you got sleep paralysis? You live in this haunted ass shit from the 1900s. I could practically see the demon's balls as he's taking a shower through that window right now. Are you Most kidding me? Most of the home had been renovated over Are you the shitting years, on my chest, baby girl? There still glimpses of what the house used to be. Like, come on, you gotta the be smart about it. The exterior of the home was painted a bright yellow and adorned a blood red door. Like, I'm sorry, but before we continue, if you don't want to have a haunted experience, don't live in the haunted looking places! Come on, man! The yard was abundant with lush green grass, minus the few brown patches that littered the ground. In the corner of the yard sat a dilapidated gazebo. Dilapidated? To the I don't even know how to. Equipment. What kind of words are these, bro? The house. Some Albert Einstein's. The quaint ambiance it seemed to exude. I felt something hit my back and spun around. My brother, William, was standing behind me with a box under his right arm. How much does a shirt like that go for? Welcome to Royston Vasey, you'll never leave. Like, you couldn't pay me money to wear that shit. Let's pick up the pace. We don't have all day, he said, with a little annoyance masked in his voice. Now oh, calm down, PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah, I responded and started walking to the back of the truck. My other two friends, Elijah and Leon, were in the process of stacking some boxes on a dolly. Now they are robbing you. Hey man, take this to my room, Elijah said as he handed me a large box. I resituated it in my arms and gripped it. As I did so, I could hear glass clanging inside and a strong familiar odor starting to leak out. Dude, hey what? man, be careful. Elijah snapped. He was just holding the box! If you ever want to smoke again, I'd highly advise you to take it one step at a time oh, there, champ. so you got like a bong in Maybe there? Maybe if you didn't throw everything into one single box without bubble wrap, then you wouldn't have an issue of something breaking, Elijah. Leon responded. Elijah's eyes widened, as if he had just figured out the secrets of the universe. I laughed, turned around, and proceeded into the house haunted house the floorboards creaked as i stepped onto the warped living room check floor. marking the boxes of a haunted house creaky floors i surveyed my surroundings of the old rustic home as i headed to elijah's bedroom second check mark that you live in a haunted house rustic home only two interior rooms two interior rooms i'll stop entire house one being the kitchen which had marble countertops and new appliances that's a nice ass kitchen the other being my room. I'm not even gonna lie, that's a nice I ass kitchen. I was the one who found the home on the market, so respectively, I had first choice. Of if I was robbing that house, the first thing I'd rob is the own. things in the kitchen. That's a nice the kitchen. The other rooms, on the other hand, were still the same as they had been since the early 1900s, with dreary wooden floorboards and old chipping paint. Dude, what the hell? Bro, well, he really does look like upstairs. PewDiePie. I quickly climbed the narrow stairway to find my brother in his room. I walked in to find what looked like to be a large lump underneath the wooden floorboards. That's a body. About it to almost catch looked body. like Andre the Giant was buried in the middle of the room. Uh -huh. I told you it was an old home, Will. Things shift over time, I said, trying to hold my snickering back. Yeah, I get that. But you didn't say that I'd have to maneuver around a speed bump, he snapped back. I know, he got the room with the big-ass bulge on the floor. I took a deep sigh and turned to him. That floor's packing. Okay. Look, man, we're only going to be here for a year. You've got plenty of room to put your bed so you're not sleeping on an incline. William turned back to the floor dejected. That's easy for you to say. You're not staying on the cover of Sticky Fingers by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I don't After even know what that means, but I just left. the house, we all plopped down on the couch, beers in hand, and began our well-deserved R&R. &R. Cool, guys. Elijah had already begun smoking and the room started to fill with the pungent odor. It's like the most depressing group of friends ever. So are we ever. gonna be doing some ghost hunting tonight, boys? Elijah said as he passed the joint to Leon. Oh, come on. You don't actually believe that crap, do you? Leon responded as he was rolling his eyes. 
Rolling his eyes like they the rolled that blunt. The guy blew his brains out on the front porch in the 1930s. I'd be surprised if there wasn't a ghost floating through the halls. I mean, how do you think we got such a killer deal on rent? A killer William deal! said as he lifted his <laughs> arms and started mimicking the sounds of a specter. Shut up. It's all nonsense. You've just been watching too much Ghost Hunters. I responded. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go to bed. We need to get up early to do some cleaning. Good night, guys. I stood up and meandered to my room. In all reality, I was a little perturbed by what happened at this what house. What is up with these words? Neandered? Perturbed? Like, these are made up words. I've always been quite agnostic I'm not gonna find to that my in the dictionary. You made that shit up. spirits, but I've neander? never witnessed anything myself. What's a neander? The rent was super cheap for an entire house. Like somebody's middle name. And I wanted name. to save some money for a trip outside of the country. Like Jeffrey Neander Williamson. Tree. Like, that's not a I word. Come on, dog. the fact that someone had ended their life to the back of my mind. Better end my life with these made up words. Much differently. Neander. I entered my room and What is Neander? Hold on. What is Neander? Let me check out what Neander is. Bro, I ought to corrected my shit to Neanderthal, bro. See, I told you it's not even a real word. Bro, it said, did you mean Neander? Like, I don't even know how to spell Neander. Anyway, let's go back to this Neander dude. In all reality, I was a little perturbed yeah, by perturbed. what happened there we go. this house. I picked I've a good spot to rewind to. I've been agnostic to my beliefs of ghosts or spirits, but I've never witnessed anything myself. Neander, bro. The rent was super cheap for an entire house. And I wanted to save some money for a trip outside of the country. I pushed the fact that someone had ended their life to the back of my mind. I wish things would have turned out much differently. I already know somebody in the I comments going to say, well, technically, slid under my the spelling of Neander is the blah, 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 blah. Bed. It had been a long day and my body ached from moving. I grabbed my phone and looked for a rain and thunder YouTube video to help me sleep. Hey, those slap. After about 15 minutes, those hit. I crept into comfortable darkness. Like in a dark room, those hit. My eyes shot open in the middle of the night. The moonlight shone through my window and enveloped my room in comforting light. I could hear creaking from the house as the wind howled outside. I tried to sit up, but found my efforts futile. Sleep paralysis was a regular occurrence in my life. It happened at least once a month due to stress and a little help from my antidepressants. At this point, I'd almost gotten used to it. I could hear what sounded like a light scratching noise coming from inside my room mm. and prepared myself for the usual dark figure to be standing in the corner. My eyes darted from left to right, trying oh no. to decipher where the noise was coming Don't from. Don't jump scare us. It was then just trying to vibe. I started to hear skittering, like someone or something was moving around. Ooh, yeah. A cold feeling crept over my body as I started sweating profusely, my sheets becoming soaked. That looks like it stinks. The skittering stopped, but was replaced Ooh. by cracking, one that resembled that of broken bone. Ooh. Out of my peripheral vision, you know what broke, broken I could see long, like. needle-like limbs protruding from my closet. Oh, hell Each no! moved slowly, tapping the wall as if they were looking for something. Looking I like spider legs! a large, bulbous black mass starting to show itself from the closet door. It was coated oh, it is in a tiny spider. hairs I and called twitched it. almost habitually. A loud moan Ugh. throughout my room God, that's making me cringe. as the creature finally presented oh, itself. I hate that sound. A spider-like entity was situated on my wall. Uh, the reason I say spider-like is because spiders. its head had been replaced with that of a human one. Oh, come on, man. Its eyes you broke the illusion. Down from the shadows of moonlight. What and its that? lower jaw was removed, revealing a blotchy is tongue, that, a tongue? that oozed saliva. Oh, that, oh, that's a head. It was about the size of the a twin head. bed. I'm a it Murad. stared at me for what seemed like hours. My heart was racing. I was begging my body to move, but to no avail. Bro, just step on that I was bitch. Stuck there. I would have. Just get a slipper torment. and throw it at it. That's a spider's biggest weakness. I tried screaming, weakness. but I was unable to make a sound. All I could do was watch the creature on my wall as it grew closer. He ain't gonna do shit. Suddenly, it skittered to the ceiling right above me. It started <laughs> scratching with its two front legs, almost like What's it was What you gonna do with burly. that tongue, huh? What you gonna do with all that tongue? It then started to sink oh, show into me. the wall. You know, I get a little As freaky. Show me what you gonna do that tongue. turned into quicksand. <laughs> First, the abdomen. 
then the legs. Dude, legs in. Eventually. Let's go then. All that was left was its mangled head staring straight at me. Those cold, dead eyes boring into my soul. With the saliva just dripping, I could hear so it got moaning, that drip. And I could feel the drips of saliva hit my torso. The creature then let out an inhuman roar and vanished into my ceiling. Fuck that. My body was finally released and I jolted out of my bed screaming. As I did, the house erupted into more terrified outcries coming from upstairs. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who saw something. And, unfortunately, it wouldn't be the last time either. Wait, don't tell me that was it. That was it? Unfortunately, it wouldn't be the last time either and then it just ends? So he keeps seeing that head all the time? Bro got a head in life every single night? Come on, man. My guy was getting the wrong kind of head at night, dude. Are you serious? Last video of today's episode is called Launderman. This was made by Crypt TV. Check him out in the description box below. But let's see this person do some laundry. And walk in that dirty floor with no shoes on. Kind of felt like my feet got bacteria from that. Oh, bro. Come on. Come on with that. Now, nah, ain't no way somebody's under there. Who? What the heck? Jump scared by some coins? That's a new low. Some coins jump scared me. Some nickels and dimes. Some George Washingtons and Ben Franklin's. I don't even know what's on the coins, to be honest. Uh, Abraham Lincoln's. No, that's a $5. You know what? Whatever. Who cares? Oh, somebody's in there. Bro, somebody's behind that black thing. Somebody's behind that. Ah! God, what the heck, man? Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Why am I so jumpy? Why am I so noivous, dude? Nah, bro. What does he do? He does your laundry for you and then kills you? He's the launder man. Oh, I'm gonna get so jump scared. Why would you look under there in the dark? Just run! Oh, boy. You deserve to die. Yeah, you deserve to die. How do you not see that? Dude's called the launder man, but he's so dirty. He needs to take his own advice, wash himself. Put himself in a spin cycle, something. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, boy. Oh, God. I think he's in there with her. Like, in the oh! Oh, my goodness. I'm so freaking jumpy. God, dude, I can't, I can't. What is this? Oh my God. Dude, this is making me so jumpy. I don't know why. I think it's because I feel claustrophobic. Oh, oh my god. Yo, are you gonna fit through there? Holy crap! Go, go, go! No! Oh god. All that for a quarter, bro. Oh jeez. What is that? No, no, no. Why, why does that even matter? Why does that even matter right now? Just fight for your life! Holy crap. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, was in the washing machine the whole time! Oh, wow. Hey, that was so creepy. Oh. Dude, he should have washed her. She should have got washed. That was effective. It was less than three minutes long, and that was one of the scariest things I've seen in a while. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of reacting to these scary animations. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you want more, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.